My name is Sarah Becker. I'm in the fifth grade and I'm from Hillcrest Professional Development School. My project is about juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. I chose this topic because I personally have juvenile rheumatoid arthritis in my left knee and in both of my ankles. Juvenile rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease which is also known as a chronic illness. That means that the body fights, fights off the good healthy cells and tissue which causes your joint to hurt. I did this project and I found lots of facts about it like the symptoms, the, some additional complications, treatment and how you can deal with pain. The thing that I took away from my topic is that there's not great access to health care for children with JRA and that I need to raise more awareness to help find treatment and help find a cure. Hello, my name is Malia and I'm from South Lake Elementary and I'm in fifth grade. My APP project this year is about lung cancer. I did lung cancer because my um, I have two grandfathers who had lung cancer. One died and one did not. I decided that I was going to make a donation system for lung cancer to try to prevent um, lung cancer um, and, pr and provide awareness to people in my community. Hello, my name is Esme Marmalejo and I am from Alta Vista Elementary. I am in the fifth grade. My project is about bullying. Bullying is aggressive, unwanted behavior towards school-aged children. We all think of ways to prevent it in our own personal lives, but we don't think about ways to prevent it for everyone else. Some of the signs of bullying are people that may avoid sleep, may avoid going out, may eat too much or not much at all. I took a poll at school, and as you can see, some of the qu these are some of the questions I wanted to answer with the people in my classroom and three of the fifth grade classes. My product is Bullying Tips. It is a brochure. It talks about tips on bullying. It talks about people you can talk to about bullying, websites you can go to help deal with bullying, and um, how, what's, what, you should do when, what you should do when you see someone being bullied. Hi, my name is Evan Fox, and I'm in second grade. I'm from Parkdale Ed Dimension and I studied football. So the first game was in 1869 between Pittston and Ruggers. And I was I'm playing football, tackle football. I played I played flag football last year. The person who created football was Walter and Kemp. The man who is known today, the man who is most responsible and for football. There are exactly 32 teams. My favorite team are the North Carolina Panthers. Hello, my name is Karima Reyes. I go to Crestview Elementary. I am in fourth grade. My topic is Down syndrome. I mainly wanted to focus on ways to help these kids. What I want to do to help kids with Down syndrome is to create a therapy center that will um, give therapy to the kids so that they can learn to walk, talk, and so that they can live a normal life. I learned a lot in my research. I mainly learned that many that Texas doesn't really focus as much on Down syndrome as 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 a sickness. They mainly just focus on as a on something the kids have. They don't really do much to help them. Hello, my name is Jose Munoz. I'm a fifth grade student from Kinshuk Elementary. My topic is school security. I chose this topic because schools need to have better, secur better security because some schools are not having good security and they're getting shot, like kids get shot with intruders. I chose this I really like this topic because I want to change the world and schools to have better security. Many schools like Parkland in Florida have been shot and many kids died and I don't want kids to die in my school or in any more schools. Hi, my name is Brayden Harris. Uh, I am a first grader. Uh, I'm from Dean Highland Elementary. I'm going to be talking about digging for dinosaur bones. Dinosaur bones are normally found with other 
dinosaur bones near prehistoric water locations. Dinosaur bones found in dinosaur bones are found in sedimentary sedimentary rock, silt, and clay. Knowing the knowing the ages of rock helps guide people to good location locations to look for dinosaur bones. Hi, my name is Jocelyn Abar and I am in the fourth grade. My project is going to be about homelessness in Waco. I picked this because I see a lot of people on the streets roaming around hoping they can see, seek shelter. Hello, my name is Karen Gutierrez and I am from Partner Heights. My project is about, and I am in fifth grade, my project is about cyberbullying. The reason I chose this topic was because I, I at first knew the thin line, almost everybody knows about cyberbullying. And so once I started going in more depth with it, I had found out about many things. And so, and then the other reason was because one of my relatives and family, they had been cyberbullied and then that had messed up all their relationships their, and uh, basically everything in general. I had found, I had really wanted to research this and I did, where I wanted to find out the country that had the most rate of cyberbullying. And surprisingly, that was India with 71%. Then it was France with lowest, and it was 15%. And then the USA it was at 41%. Hi, my name is Eli Ruby. I am fifth grade in my, from Mountain View Elementary, and my project is about anaplasmosis. If you don't know, anaplasmosis is a tick-borne disease that does not kill many, but harms them extra severely. The symptoms take 5 to 21 days to show, and it takes 12 to 24 hours to infect you with this disease that does not last forever. If you use doxycycline or antibiotics, it will help heal you much quicker. My name is Tommy DeLeon. I'm in fifth grade and I go to Bells Hill Elementary. And the title of my project is School Tra Tragedies. Um, so the reason I picked this topic was because we had to pick a problem in our community. And I thought school shooting was like a big problem in our community right now. And then so like right here, I have the school shootings, the trauma after the shootings, and then like the stats of the shootings. My name is Mary Linares. I come from West Avenue Elementary. I'm in third grade and my project is about cyberbullying. The name of my project is Cyberbullying and the Ultimate Cost and it's about a girl named Brandy Vela who took her life because of cyberbullying. She was being cyberbullied because people thought that she was different because of her weight. That was the only thing that people could pick her on because she was kind of like perfect. And everybody would say that except for the people who were cyberbullying her who would always pick on her. The bullies would start making fake Facebook accounts and fake dating profiles to just pick, to pick on her. But that's actually something very serious that people shouldn't do. is about the first smartphone. I have phone facts, a bibliography, a summary, some research questions, a timeline of three different kinds of phones, and some pictures. My phone facts are $4,000 is the cost of the first smartphone. In 2012, Apple sold more than 340,000 iPhones per day, which is about four per second. The the first mobile call was made by Martin Cooper in 1973. Around 80% of the world's population has a mobile phone. Within three minutes of delivery, 90% of text messages are read. In 1993, world's first smartphone was debuted at Florida's Wireless World Conference by Bell South Cellular. 
It has an LCD touchscreen display. This was designed by IMB and named as Simon Price at $899. And only 2,000 Simons are made at that time. More than 80% of adults in U.S. use mobile phones. More than 90% of adults have their mobile phone within arm's reach all the time. My summary was, I researched about phones because I wanted to know about phones and how they were made. I learned some things I did not even know about phones. Phones are really interesting to me. I like the apps on it because they're really nice and easy to use. I learned about who made phones and learned how they changed over time. My research questions were, what are the batteries you need for phones? Lee Polymer. How are phones made? Materials such as glass, metal, and plastic. How did they make the shape of a phone? They used a mold of melted metal and put it in the mold and let it dry. Why did they make phones? The first mobile phones invented for practical use was by a Motorola employee named Martin Cooper who made phones, Alexander Graham Bell. And I have a timeline of three different kinds of phones, and the phones on my timeline are from, the 19, are from 1913, 2007, and 2011. And they changed shape, and they, and they changed over time. I have pictures up here. Um, and I will tell you about those pictures right now. This phone is similar to the 1913 phone. It just changed from the speaker and it changed from the ear part and the mouth part. This is a local call phone. This is a phone that can hang off of walls. This is a phone where you had to dial the number and you had to roll the thing on the side until you heard somebody. This is a phone where the mouthpiece, where the earpiece goes to your ear and this is the mouthpiece. This is also a local call phone, it's just black. And this is a fatter version of this phone. Thank you again for being here. We are ready to announce our uh, first, second, and third place winners, district winners, for our Advanced Academics Product and Performances Fair. So very proud of all of you. The judges had a very difficult time making the decisions of who was going to be our first, second, and third, that they had to take a little bit of extra time to figure that out. So pat yourselves on the back. You all did a fantastic job. I saw lots of smiles coming out of those rooms. All right. We are ready. We have a very special um, student with us this evening. We have our very first Waco ISD kindergartner that has participated in the APP Fair. Mr. Isaac Williams, where are you Isaac? There he is, come on up Isaac. Isaac did his project on volcanoes this year. It was pretty fantastic. All right, for our first graders, where are my first graders? Lots of smiling faces. For my first graders, we're going to start with third place first, and we're going to move all the way up to first place. In third place, Dontrell Martin. Is Dontrell here? Oh, he's coming. Come on, buddy. Come on. In second place, Journey Bronner. In first place, 
place, our first grader in first place, Lily Allen. Huh? Is Lily here? She left? Okay. Here. All right, second graders. Donna. In third place. Thank you. In third place, Sabrina Dungana. I just want to point out Sabrina's shirt says positive vibes and she was giving us those positive vibes tonight walking down the hallway. In second place we have a team with, oh, yes. with Micaiah Washington and Gloria Calvary. Second grade, first place winner, Caroline Ho. Okay, are we ready for third grade? Third grade, third place winner is Emory Stoney Kenneth. Second place, Jairo Rivera. And our first place, Third grade winner, Ava Johnson. Hey, fourth grade, fourth grade. In third place, Yadera Salinas. Third, I'm sorry, third place. And second place, Valeria Quintana. And in first place for fourth grade, Sarah Collins. Hey, Sarah. Oh, there she is. All right, I'm talking to my fifth graders out there. How many of my fifth graders went and checked out those Atlas projects tonight? Good, good. All right, our judges had such a hard time with these fifth grade projects because they were phenomenal. So it was a tough, tough competition. In third place, we have a team with Logan Dyer and Sarah Landry. In second place, Sarah Becker. And in first place for our fifth grade projects, Abigail Torres. This concludes our awards for this evening. I again want to thank you very much for coming and supporting our students through this 100% kid-created project. Thank you all very much for coming tonight. Have a great evening.